My name is Kitty, and I can make any topic geeky in 4.2 seconds flat. We're the sexy robot party, everybody's disco dancing. We're the sexy robot party, everybody's disco dancing. This week we're talking about the thing that makes us normal, or the normal thing that sort of goes against our typical geek status. And the thing is, I can't think of anything. If you go back to my first video, my definition of a geek is just someone who's passionate about something and invested in something or involved in something. And most of the things in my life I'm passionate about and involved in and invested in because if I'm not involved in them or passionate about them, why do I keep them in my life? I mean, there are a couple things that are there out of necessity, but the things that I'm really into are things that I'm really into. It's for this reason that I'm vegan instead of being vegetarian, because if you're going to do something, you should do it all the way. It's for this reason that when I learned how to swing dance, I learned how to lead and follow, because otherwise I felt like I only knew half the dance. It's for this very same reason why I think that the designated hitter rule is kind of like cheating, because in baseball, I've thought way too much about this. Sports should be one of those normal things that prevents me from being a geek, but the designated hitter rule all of a sudden means that there's one guy on the team who's only offense, and there's one guy on the team who's only defense, and don't they feel kind of gypped? And then when those poor American League pitchers get traded to the National League and they have to go up and take an at-bat at one point, half of them don't even know how to hold a bat. I mean, granted, Ted Lilly was a National League pitcher for a while, and he still looks like he's a four-year-old playing t-ball. I'm a geek about the Cubs. I was at Game 7, which was not the Bartman game, but it was the game after the Bartman game when we still could have pulled it together, and Kerry Wood hit a home run and we thought that things were going well and then it all just went downhill in the fifth inning and I don't think my brother moved or breathed from this position from about the fifth inning on and we were so devastated when it was over and because of that game it took me a full year a full season to appreciate what a great baseball player Derek Lee was when we got him from the Marlins. I had to hate him because he was on that Marlins team. I also have to admit that the Cubs really broke my heart a couple of years ago when they traded Mark DeRosa on New Year's Eve. Those of you who don't know who Mark DeRosa is, here you go. Ladies, you're welcome. I just made baseball geeky. I like to bake. When I take cookies out of the oven, I tell them how gorgeous they are. I went to a party over the weekend where I saw some friends who I haven't seen in probably six or seven years. One of them was absolutely mortified at what a geek I've become because I was sitting there talking about Doctor Who and comic books and stuff like that with one of the other guys that was there. And my friend was like, when did this happen? When did you become such a geek about this kind of thing? And I looked at him and I said, you know, I like this stuff because it makes me use my imagination. And sometimes when your life isn't going the way that you want it to, you need to engage your imagination. The one thing that would maybe classify me as not a geek is my day job. I work in marketing. But even then, I wear sneakers to work every day. These ones I got and I like because they're plaid. I decided a long time ago that life's too short for uncomfortable footwear. I think I can take just about any normal sort of topic and make it geeky. And now we come to the part of the video where we get to talk about Matt's punishment. And I think that maybe it's a little bit harsh to call it a punishment because this is all voluntary. We're doing this because we want to do this. So maybe calling it a punishment isn't quite right. But he may have disappointed some of our regular viewers by not posting a video on Monday. Let's call it an apology as opposed to a punishment. I have two ideas, and it's sort of an either-or thing. These are just my suggestions. If you have other suggestions, feel free to put them in the boobs. One suggestion, Matt should do a dramatic interpretation of I'm a little teapot, which would be fun for everyone to watch, and quite possibly fun for his children if they happen to be in the room while he's recording it. Or the other thing that I thought of would really only be funny to me and my friend Bill, who I don't think even watches these. The phrase that I would like Matt to put into one of his upcoming videos is, and that's why they call it an outfit. I'm not going to tell you where that came from or what it means, just that it's really only funny to me and my friend Bill. But if you manage to work it into a video, I would laugh heartily. So either I'm a little teapot or, and that's why they call it an outfit. Those are my suggestions for Matt's apology video. And anyway, next week, we're talking video games. See you then. Bye.